Hi Aries, welcome back to Umka Tarot and to your week ahead. Aries, this is going to be from the 16th to the 22nd of September and the major arcana is your card, the full card. The full represents Aries, also represents brand new beginnings, taking new risks, taking leaps of faith into new directions and uh, well, that's a very fortunate thing to get your own suit in your own card, in your own reading. So let's see what this full card is going to bring for my Aries, uh, Aries gang's life. Uh, Spirit, tell me, where's my deck gone now? Yeah, here it is. All right. So now uh, tell me, Spirit, for my Aries gang, why is the Fool card here as that overall energy for the week ahead, 16th through the 22nd? So we'll take three cards for money, success, and career first. Money, success, and career. What are these new beginnings, Spirit, for their money, success, and career? Page of Wands. Oh, judgment. And the three of pentacles. Let's take one more. And the three of pentacles. All pen pentacle cards. All coins, coins, coins. So bottom of my deck, something's going to make you emotionally feel very, very happy where your money and success and your career is concerned. Aries, I do sense some of you could be getting some, some of you will be getting some very good news. It almost like embarking on a brand new journey. You feel, yes, finally judgment is going in my favor or maybe something that you had written off. You thought it'll never happen for you. There's a second chance coming to get that. And yes, things are looking up for you. Whatever hard work you're putting in, you'll be getting equal or more back in return. And things are going to be looking up at work in a big way. Maybe some collaborations as well. So, Spirit, tell me. Clarify these cards for me, please. What's the page of wands for their money, success and career? Uh, two of cups, some news which makes you emotionally very happy. You'll be in gratitude to the universe and saying, yes, finally things are balanced out. I'm feeling good. I feel, uh, you know, it's like almost like feeling emotionally at peace with this news or this new movement. Yep, you, some of you will be giving yourselves a pat on the back or maybe just giving gratitude to the universe or maybe taking some time out finally for some self-care, self-love, feeling emotionally very happy. Uh, Ace of Wands, yes, there's excitement in the air, maybe a new project coming up as well. Um, Aries, Ace of Wands is a card of having a breakthrough some passionate breakthrough, maybe a new initiative and uh, judgment is going in your favor for that. So, six of pentacles, six of pentacles, the lovers, hanged man. Some, maybe you've been waiting for uh, some decisions to get made. You've been waiting for a decision to get made. Maybe you've been waiting for it for a very long time and finally that flow of energy has been started to happen like whatever effort or whatever energy you've been putting into something you are seeing the returns of that coming in this upcoming week Aries uh, things will be looking up at work uh, three of pentacles yes uh, old cycle of uh, maybe overwork or feeling bogged down with responsibilities I think that's all finally going to be over um, maybe all your uh, hard work maybe some of you have been working really hard and you know you've been trying and trying and failing and getting up and wounded and bandaged but you've been continuing doing your work this time round I think you will be uh, approached by others who may want to maybe even collaborate with you or work with you or you can delegate work now because things are finally you know in the flow and this has all happened because of your own hard work and it's going to be showing now it's going to be showing queen of pentacles it's like yes finally you you can you will have enough time to do some self-care maybe take care of your home enjoy some time have money to save as well pay all your bills and feel Feel very comfortable because things are moving in a very positive direction for you. I mean, where money, success and career is uh, concerned, there is, I think it's going to be a fantastic week. The sun card is here, which is the happiest card in the deck. So, well, that, that's taken care of. Now, Spirit, tell me what about their love life? Love life, Spirit for Aries. Uh, what does their love life look for in the upcoming next week, Spirit 16th to 22nd? What can they expect? 
my Aries gang. Money looks pretty good. Okay. Aries, love life. Uh, seven of Swords, King of Swords, Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Somebody is coming back from the past. Somebody who could have lied, cheated, ghosted, done something. Somebody is coming back to speak some truth. Uh, somebody who probably hurt you or broke your heart in the past. You may try and avoid uh, this person. I have a feeling. I would. Uh, I have a feeling, Aries. You're going to be a little uh, protective of your energy. Uh, maybe not wanting to get back into conflict and saying, you know, I'd rather just take my time and I still just want to, you know, preserve my energy. Yes, I'll hear you out, but uh, I don't want to get back into the same rigmarole of, you know, the fights and the arguments and stuff like that. So let's see. Well, yeah, money is looking good. So you're feeling very confident of your place in life and you don't want anyone else to come back and mess it up so let's see so there is somebody returning from the past uh, seven of swords spirit for their love life seven of swords yeah some king of swords again so somebody here is come, wanting to come come back and clear the air with you uh, or this could be you could be you wanting to go back and talk to somebody who you have hurt in the past or vice versa and what is to be said, Spirit? What's the King of Swords going to say? What's this? They want to heal this connection. They, they, the, this person wants to tell their person that I want to heal this connection. Again, another card of healing. They want to collaborate. They want to work things out. They are... Um, they are feeling bad about the part they played in the past where there could have been heartbreak. And whoever this person is, they want to take responsibility of this connection. They want to do right by their person because they have realized they are in love. Ace of Cups. I do feel that the other person could be you or could be vice versa. The other person may not be that willing may stand in their power, may stand in their strength and not be very trusting initially, saying I'd rather just be single, my work is doing well and I don't want uh, things to change in my life. According to me, this is already over, but this person is going to be with, this person is going to pursue. Whichever person is coming back from the past to talk about the heartbreak uh, connect, you know, they has been caused, they are wanting to speed things up or you know talk it out and you know heal things. But I have a feeling the other person, you, vice versa, whatever, is going to take a little time and say, you know what, I need to just step back and listen to my own intuition. Uh, it's like, yeah, I need a little time. I have to think about it because I don't want this headache back. So, yeah, I have a feeling things will get sorted out because the Wheel of Fortune is here. Somebody is going to not give up and they're going to keep trying till the other person is ready to take a leap of faith and, you know, take a risk or take a chance. Now, somebody really desperately wants to work things out. So, yeah, there is, there is a rec uh, chance of a reconciliation here. At least that, that's what they are trying to manifest. Somebody wants to come and talk their, talk their heart out. It's like, let's forget about the past. I'm sorry I did this, that and the other. Um, we talk about the heartbreak, but, you know, let's try again. But the other person may be a little defensive or may say, I'm not sure, but I have a feeling eventually uh at least there'll be a friendship reignited and then it'll be a let let's wait and watch but that chance will be given uh, the fool card is here again so taking a risk and saying okay let's see how that goes okay so that is uh, money that's love and what about their general overview spirit for the week what can they expect for that general overview for the week spirit overall how will their week be Aries four of pentacles oh securing the bag not wanting to go back into again the fool card is here wow and uh, yeah somebody is going to be working towards their money it's almost like choosing something which is going to be long lasting then taking a risk 
short term risk it's like yes i worked really hard for what i want and i don't want to go back into a feeling that you know i'm i i can lose it all or feel that feeling of lack uh it's like even though the new beginnings are here in both these areas even in money even in love but somebody here is going to take a risk only if their intuition tells them that it's going to be long lasting even my money is concerned it's like i don't want to go back and spend all my money suddenly so i go back into a place of want or need so i'm going to save i'm not going to be a fool i need to secure my future whether this is in love even there uh, i see a little bit of hesitancy but yes giving a chance but listening to your intuition and trying to figure out is this the right decision will it long i mean everything here is i guess i'll give it a chance but as long as it's long lasting so a very sensible approach to both areas of your life here so what's the advice for them then spirit what's the advice for my aries gang for the week ahead king of pentacles queen of pentacles five of cups Eight of Cups and the Devil. Yep, everything is looking really good. I mean, there is emotional happiness. There is a good union that is on the horizon as well. Um, Aries. I mean, King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. But there is a bit of fear, so you'll have to fight that fear. The Devil is here. The Devil is here, which is a sign of a little bit of fear that what if things go wrong again? So you may have to kind of uh, deal with the Devil for a little bit. I don't see anything going wrong because now you've learned the trick Aries anything that you feel is out of your comfort zone or your intuition says that this is not the right track I think you've learned the trick of walking away right so what's I think what spirit is trying to say be that fool and take that risk if something is not working out you always have the option to change your direction or take a risk in some other direction or take a leap of faith in a new uh, thing but don't let fear stop you from your progress you are moving towards a very very positive future for yourself ten of cups is like having it all you have the money you have the wealth you have a partner you have everything so this week you are going to be in that energy where you will have a lot of new beginnings Yes, you will be a little discerning, but I have a feeling most of you are going to take the risk to say, at least let's see where it goes. At least that's what the advice is for you. Right, Spirit? Anything else for Aries? Anything else for Aries? Yeah, slow and steady, Aries. There is victory ahead for you. You will be victorious if you can take a balanced approach and a st slow and steady approach. And that's what I have for you for your week ahead, Aries. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.